Hi, Matt Crow here from Forever Young Studios, and welcome to my mobility series. Today we're doing the upper back, the spine, and the shoulder girdle. All we're going to need today to start off with will be a towel or some, what I have, rubber bathing. Other one will be fine, but most of the exercises are all floor exercises. Follow along, and as always, make sure you subscribe if you like what you see. First exercise is a great one for opening up the shoulders and the shoulder girdle. Just using a towel, rubber band, or even a straight stick, keeping your arms dead straight, and just trying to go over and back, really taking those shoulders through full range of motion. Keep your arms very straight. You can make the towel longer or shorter to suit, but obviously the idea is to get your hands as close together as possible, requiring a greater stretch through that shoulder as you go up and over. Doesn't matter how wide you have to start, just keep those arms straight and take them through the range. You'll feel your chest and the front of your shoulders really stretch on this one as you take it over. Eight reps each way is a perfect way to warm up your shoulders and get a little bit of mobility to start the shoulder series. Next one we have the round the clock shoulder circles. Fantastic exercise. Basically you're lying on your side, one arm is outstretched, your knees are bent. The idea here, keep your knees completely together. Don't let your knees come off the ground and don't let your top knee come off your bottom knee. And you're simply going to draw a wide circle all the way around you, keeping your fingers tracing the floor. You can open up your shoulders and turn your torso as much as you like, right? That's the idea, but keep your knees together and draw a circle, keeping your hand on the ground at all times. Go all the way around and all the way back. So nice wide circles. You'll get that nice opening of the thoracic region. You'll get the stretch through the shoulders. You'll feel your lower lumbar, lower back also get a little rotation. You want five circles each way. Make sure that those knees stay together. They're your anchor point. All right, both knees together and firmly on the ground. The wider you can open up that stretch, the better and the easier it is to get your hand to trace the floor. Really nice, gentle stretch and quite a popular one for people who don't have a lot of shoulder and upper thoracic flexibility but want to work, in it, work on it in a passive way. Really like this one. You will too. Make sure you do five each way. And as always, breathing as you do it. Next we have a combo upper body and shoulder stretch. What we're going to do first is go into all fours and go into what's called a cat cow. So we're rounding our back as much as we can and our chin comes to our chest. Then we're arching our back and making our head come up. Three of those each way and keeping our thighs vertical and our hips nice and up in the air. You're going to turn underneath and reach underneath your armpit as far as you can, sliding your back of the hand along the floor, and then come through and open into what's called an open book. So you reach through, you slide your back of the hand as far through, turning your torso, keep your hand in, on the ground, keep your hips square, and open up into this open book. So slide through, turn, really slide the back of the hand as far as you can. Good rotation, don't let your hips move. Come into that open book, so we're going full range of motion through this rotation. Then you're going to start again with the three cat cows. So round the back, arch the back, round the back, arch the back. Just watch my head position. When I go up, my head goes down, tucks into my chin. When my back goes down, my head comes up. All right, and then reach through. Notice that my pelvis position doesn't change at all. I don't lean back or sit back. I keep it high in the air. That helps that thoracic rotation get a little more leverage. And once again, when I go up into that open book, my arm stays firmly on the ground and right underneath my shoulder, and I just rotate as much as I possibly can with 
without twisting all other parts. Back of the hand, turn it along, really push it out there. Increase the stretch each time you do it. And that's a nice way to open up that upper thoracic, shoulders and back area. Now it is time for the Wall Angels. Nice name, but probably one of the most deceptive exercises you're going to do. For this one, you want to be leaning against the wall, your legs are out from it, your knees are bent, your hips are against the wall, your shoulder blades are against the wall, there's a little bit of arch in your lower back. You have your arms out by the side, like you're getting arrested, and simply trying to push the back of your elbows and the back of your hands up the wall, keeping your elbows and back of the hands on the wall, all the way up above your head. A very, very tricky exercise. Looks very easy, but really does stress your lats and the back of your shoulder girdle. If you've got any tightness, you will feel it here because you'll, be, you'll feel that your elbows and hands will come off the wall like mine do a little bit as we get to the top. But do your very best to keep your elbows and back of the hands on the wall and make sure you don't arch too much through your lower back. Keep a neutral spine by all means, your hips are on the wall, your shoulder blades are on the wall. Up and down eight times for this one. Breathing out, pushing up, extend as high as you possibly can. You have to put a bit of effort in this one. It is not as easy as it looks in the brochure, but a very effective shoulder exercise. The last in our shoulder series is the prayer stretch. Kneeling down, put your legs nice and wide, have your feet together at the back. This one's very simple. We want as much elongation between your pelvis and your fingertips as possible whilst you push your armpits to the floor. So back is very flat, pelvis is pushing backwards, armpits are pushing out. And when you get that nice position, then you're really taking your armpits, trying to put them on the ground. Once you've got the start position, then you're gonna walk yourself over to one side and walk yourself over to the other side, keeping that stretch at all times. Always trying to maintain that maximum length in your spine and arms. And as you go to each side, you really get a good lats and side shoulder rotator cuff muscle stretch. Beautiful stretch, this one. Feels really good. Walk it over. Make sure you stay nice and low with that pelvis. Back nice and elongated. Breathe out. And at all times, have your armpits trying to touch the ground. You're really trying to flatten that out. Push it all the way out there. Each side the little side bends come to the middle one final breath pushing your armpits to the floor roll it up and then nice and smoothly roll into a rocking position grab your knees to your chest clasp your hands around breathe and rock bring your head up and feel that nice stretch and then we're going to release the stretch Toes are going to reach for one end of the room. Your arms are going to reach for the other end of the room. You're going to take a deep breath in, breathe out, and really extend, really stretch for either end of the room. Full extension, big breath out, and then you're going to relax, and you are done. If you love this video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe below. And if you want to find out about all things health, fitness, wellness, and longevity, Make sure you follow me on my Instagram at Forever Young Studios Manly. You'll find all about how to live an optimal life. Thank you.